What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In the previous video that I did, I showed you how to set up a staging server for Rust that was on the brand new HDRP backboard branch. But of course, that's not exactly what this video is going to be focusing on. This video is going to show you how to update any Rust server that you have installed on your local computer or you have installed elsewhere using Steam CMD. It's super simple and I'll show you how to update not only the vanilla game, but also any beta branches and staging, etc, etc. So how do we do it? Well, first of all, navigate across to where you installed your survey in the first place. And if you followed my video from yesterday, you've probably got something similar to this, where you have Steam CMD and your actual server is inside of Steam apps, common Rust dedicated over here. Of course, there's your start.bat file. So when you start up the server here and you try to connect using your client, you'll be notified that the server is out of date. Of course, simply restarting the server won't update it. What else can we do? Well, if you head back to the main folder over here where you have Steam CMD, simply open it up by double clicking on it and wait for Steam to update. After Steam's updated, all you have to do is enter the exact same command that you did to install your server in the first place with one thing different. So let's go ahead and do that. In yesterday's video, I told you to type in app underscore update space 258550 space hyphen beta space aux01, which is the HDRP backboard branch. This was of course to install the server, but how do we update it? Well, it's super simple. All you have to do is somewhere in this message over here, type in validate. This will not only go through the existing files on your computer, but it'll also update them if anything is missing or different to the actual version that's on the server. You can run this exact same command to verify the game files or server files on your computer too. So I'll hit this button and you may see that I'm not logged into Steam, completely forgot a previous step, login anonymous. There we go. Now that we're logging in anonymously to Steam, I can go ahead and type in that same command. So app update 258550 beta aux01 validate. This time when I hit enter, it'll run through the existing files on my computer, check to see what's different and immediately start downloading an update. It'll only download files that are different. And of course the download here should be a lot smaller than the original download of your server. Once this completes, all you have to do is close out of it and boot up your server again. But if you'd like to automate this process, there is something that we can do. And quickly before we get to that, if you installed it to a different directory, do make sure to enter force install dir space followed by the directory as such. So if I force installed a directory when I originally did this to C Rust server, I'll have to enter this before entering the update command over here. If you installed it to a different directory, you probably a logged into Steam, then you went ahead and typed in this command over here force install a dir followed by the directory and then the actual download command. You'll do the exact same thing, but just make sure to run the force install directory command right before updating it. Anyway, with all of that out of the way, our server is now fully up to date. And if I head into the Steam Apps common folder, Rust dedicated, you'll see that some of the files were modified today. And if I started up my server, it'll be running the most up to date version. But you're asking me, what happens if you want to automate this process? Well, simply open up your server start.bat or whatever you've called it, and you'll see something similar to this. At the very top, add a couple of new lines, and you'll be typing in some things here. So first of all, we'll need to know where Steam CMD is located. So I'll add back a few folders, and you can see Steam CMD over here. What I'll do is I'll copy the folder path at the very top, and then paste it into our notepad file as such. And what we'll do from here is that if this has spaces anywhere in it, such as here, simply surround it in quotation marks as such. Inside of the quotation marks, I'll add backslash steam cmd.exe as such because we have steam cmd over here. So when this command is reached, it'll simply start up steam cmd. As soon as this program closes, it'll go ahead and continue with the script starting up our Rust server. But of course, steam cmd isn't going to close if you just open it. What we're going to have to do here is add all of our steam cmd commands into the command line. So hit space plus login anonymous. If we were to run just this command over here, it'll start Steam CMD and log in anonymously. We also need to get it to update our server, validate the files and quit. So I'll hit space plus app underscore update, followed by the app ID 258550. And if there's any extra arguments, I'll add hyphen beta AUX01 because we're working on the HDRP branch space validate, which will validate the existing files updating our server, and finally, plus quit to actually close Steam CMD when this command has been run. So when this line over here is reached, it'll start Steam CMD, telling it to log in anonymously, update the app, 
in the beta auxo one branch, validating the existing files, and then quit. Awesome. So if I were to run this, it should update my existing server. If you use the force install directory, you'll add it somewhere here. For example, right after logging in, you'll add plus force underscore install dir space followed by the directory. And of course, if it has any spaces, put it in quotation marks. But because I didn't do this, I won't include that. I'll save this file, close notepad, and head back to my Steam CMD folder, Steam Apps, Common, Rust Dedicated, where I have my actual server. I'll double click the server start.bat, and as you can see, it's automatically logged into Steam. It's validating the existing files. And as soon as this is complete, it should quit out of Steam CMD and then immediately start up my server. And after it's done, you can see our server is immediately starting up. So of course, that's working exactly as we had hoped. So from here, my server will simply start up as usual and people will be able to play on it. Pretty cool. Of course, I'm not actually gonna run my server, so I'll close it. And that's basically it. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.